What's happening guys, Lawson here. In the boat, got Jonah and Micah with me right now. Jonah and Micah are like long time old friends that I've known since I was like 13 years old. So they came down to do a little bit of fishing. They're gonna be here for the next few days and uh, we're trying to get on some big snook. That's the goal. So we got some top waters rigged up. I'm gonna throw a swim bait and uh, hopefully we can whack a big snook or even a big jack anything good so the plan for tonight is we're gonna do top waters and once it gets dark we're probably gonna fish some bridges and then fish some dock lights i'm just hoping we can get on some fish that's really all i want oh that's it that's it there's a little fish right in front of us flaring up they're either ladyfish or jack. Like, look in front of us, there's like a whole entire school of fish going off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See that? I don't know what it is. I like literally might throw the cast in on it. If, yeah, they could be big pilchards. I'm like, might be pilchards. I'm gonna pull up like the biggest net full of baby jack crevals. They are, in fact, baby jack revolves. <laughs> oh, yes. And very large <laughs> freaking skipjacks. Oh, my gosh. Throw over there. Big top water. That is a big, giant jack revolve. Multiple of them going off. They're very big jack. I'm like tying as quickly as I possibly can right now. Japanese crack and popper. Give me solid. Good night, son. Hey, we're about to hook up real quick here, boys. <laughs> that's a good jack not it's not like a giant monster one but it's a good one keep throwing your top water in there micah if you want i have a smaller popper this is a good fish i have a smaller popper oh i literally just tied that on and threw it out oh this is a heavy fish Just keep slinging. Once I get this fish in, I'll have one of you throw this popper. I can't believe that thing freaking. Straight from Japan. Oh, he's not even as huge as I thought, but he's good. I thought he was going to be a tank, to be honest, but. Oh, come on, guy. Oh, well, I might have you do my this, if you don't mind. I have to grab my camera for me. It's in my bag right here. Okay. Well, it's been an extremely slow afternoon, but all of a sudden everything's going off right here at the last light. It's a good jack. I just want to get him in. So, Mike and Jonah can keep throwing. I literally, I mean, you'll see it in the GoPro. I tied that thing on so fast. Oh, he's like gotten bigger and smaller as I've looked at him. When he first hit, I thought he was huge. And then when I saw him the first time, I was like, oh, he's okay. Now he's not bad. But I need to get this guy in. Hey, that is not a bad jack. He's probably 15 pounds, maybe 18. And uh, that popper hanging out of his mouth is from Japan. That's not cool enough. And that's literally the first time I've thrown it. If you can see the <laughs> four inch tag in still sitting on it, that's awesome. We aren't gonna revel in this too much. 
as much as I'd like to because I want Mike and Jonah to get in on it. Oh, gosh, that scared me. Sounds like a freaking pig. All right, buddy. See ya. Thank you. Okay. Which one of you wants to throw this? <laughs> Mega far cast as possible, I suppose. And then literally, if you saw what I was doing, like you can do like big, that popper's heavy enough, yeah, you can do big sweeps like that. When someone's not staying your way, it's probably more helpful. Oh, oh on? I think it's small, yeah, it's small. <laughs> Jonah's throwing the freaking five inch popper on the mega stick and he hooks, I think he used foul hooked a mullet in the back. Ah, jeez, ah, jeez. Oh, it's a bluefish. Dude, throw it to the wall. Like either of you. It looks like there's something going down it. That was interesting. Oh, keep it going, Jonah, keep going. Keep going. <laughs> Did you get it? Yeah, it's a, it's a jack. Throw up in there too, Micah. I knew I saw something cruising down the wall. That's funny. Oh, oh right down here. All right, see that, Micah? Let it ride, let it ride, let it ride. It might do it. Oh God, I just had a huge fish just sitting there looking at my spook completely still. Sweet Lord. Oh, keep it going, keep it going. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Big snook on it, big snook on it. Kneel down. Kneel down so I don't see you. He's still right on it. He's still on it. Oh my god, keep it going. Keep it going. Keep coming. Keep coming. Go past the pool, pool, pool. Turn back around. Turn back around. <laughs> I left just like what he. <laughs> that was cool. He wasn't like giant, but he was like probably like a 28 inch snook. That was super cool. You can see him? I could see his, I could just see his tail fin from, like he was like a medium sized fish. That was so cool. You did that perfectly. It's just sometimes they eat, sometimes they don't when they do that. You know what I mean? That was cool though. Early summer morning and it's very hot. Got Micah and Jonah with me. You know, the other day when I went out, caught a handful of pilchards and it was kind of nice and this morning we've come out and they're everywhere and good size ones so we've loaded the well up with probably like six dozen pilchards and so we're gonna be flipping some live white baits around on some small spinning gear and there's some tarpon rolling everywhere we've seen some snook like literally just like try to flick one underneath the dock or right on the edge of it oh two magnum snook just got spooked right there oh yeah jonah's on a snook You won't lose any sleep on that one. Jonah's whacking them. Nice, now they're a little snug. Yeah, see, this is the thing about pilchards is like, you can catch so many fish. You might work through some little ones like that, but you can also have a 40 inch fish come and smack a four yeah. inch pilchard, you know what I mean? All right, first snook landed. Jonah's definitely got this figured out a little more than we do. Open your bail if he gets up in there. I'm, I'm turning the boat around. Oh, where's he at? Open it now. Yeah, going towards. All right, close and start reeling. If you feel him on it, I can see he's on the back side of it. If you feel him on it, open your bail. He's not on it right now. He's not. Come over me, come over me. He's a good snook. He's like probably like 27. 
I'm gonna blast them backwards, right? If you feel them in it, just turn them out. Okay. Like if you feel them get a rub against the piling, that's when I want you to open your bale, all right? Johnny, you're doing a great job. Let's blast them back. You just so casually flipped up in there too. Nice snuff, buddy. He's bigger than I thought he was. He's not ready yet. But lighten your drag up a little bit. Because I see he's hooked very deeply. If he goes underneath the boat, Jonah, you need to shove your rod into the water, okay? Okay. And just watch that he's going to go for the trolling motor because he might try it. <laughs> Jonah's into, he's probably about 30, 32, maybe. And this is what I was saying we're trying to accomplish all day is that we're just going to be flipping these little pilchards around and, you know, we'll catch a lot of little fish and we might find a big one. Yep, if, if you feel that he's going all the way under. All right. Just watch the troll motor. Yeah, yeah, put it down. You're doing good. You're doing a great job, Jonah. This fish is not being particularly easy. He ate really close to the boat, which is like, honestly, one of the hardest times to keep a fish hooked. There you go, yeah. No, you're good. All right, don't reel up anymore. Let's see if you can turn him towards me. If you have to go around the boat, that's fine. I'll run around. Yeah, bring him around this left side here. <laughs> yeah, it's not particularly long, but very thick. Yeah, this starts. All right, start turning them. We'll need to go for it soon because I just don't want him to fray anything up. Go down, go down, go down, go down. Good job, Jonah, good job. He's fighting, like he's got fight in him. Watch the troll motor. He is much, he's getting a lot bigger than I think he is. I bet he's 33, 34. Oh, okay, it's time to bring this thing in. Ready. Oh, you don't have low him. I don't. He's under. He's under. Oh my gosh, something just ate this right next to the boat. What the hell? Oh, catfish. Now is not the time for this. Okay, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. That's a tank. Oh. He is so much bigger than I thought he was. This catfish is just gonna have to go over here for the moment. Honestly, just get lost. I don't have time for that. Absolute tank. Uh, I so, it? yeah, one under like, right yeah, right there. Oh. New PV oh snook my, right there. New PV. <laughs> <laughs> and that is what we've been looking for basically all morning is a fish like that and like i said we got to work through some small ones and we'll find a big one you shaking buddy you shaking <laughs> that's sick here i'll snap some photos with him on the big camera i would guess 34 was going to be my guess on him this fish just like continually got bigger and he bigger than i thought very thick 30 33 33 33 and a half if we pinched it out it'd be 34 we'll say 34 34. What, what did I just say it was? <laughs> so, lay, yeah, lay down. You can almost put your stomach on the gunnel. There you go. <laughs> Jonah. <laughs> is that the greatest feeling in the world right there? This is tight lines. Tight lines. <laughs> So what I like to do is I like to move her around like that and then switch her almost so you have your hand on her tail. Now grab her from the tail, swing her side to side like that. <laughs> Boys, good job. Micah, good assistance. Definitely <laughs> for that fresh one. 
Oh. All right, easy money. Thanks got, for the help, Bobby. Got the big one, dude. <laughs> you did really good, and I'm I'm like, I know that was tough, but I'm glad you caught him on such light tackle. Cause how fun was that? Mm -hmm. Like, that was, <laughs> our line is so great. That's why I literally I was like loosen your yeah. drag up it's so like much. It's thirty. Like you can catch big fish on thirty, but you see how lightly we had to fight them, and I was like, open. I was like, open your bail, close it, like lighten up. Oof. We'll go completely fresh leader. Put my phone in now. Let's go. <laughs> that is Let's freaking go. epic. All right, at the moment we have made a bit of a change up. We're gonna see if we can whack a cuda really quick because the tide is right for a cuda bite. And Micah says he likes catching big cudas, so we have an opportunity to do it. We're gonna try. It's been a really awesome day. I'm so so stoked that Jonah got to whack a big snook and then we've caught a few little fish here and there, but plan right now is gonna spend like probably just like 30 minutes trying to catch a cuda and then go back to flipping some live pilchards around and uh, probably close out the day flipping the rest of the live baits that we have left. Ooh, good cast. Oh, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh my God. Did you see the size of that fish? He was like literally like 45 inches long. He was huge. Oh. Like do like a really aggressive rip and then let it sit. Like boom, 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 boom like a few feet and then let it sit. Then rip it a few more feet, let it sit. Oh, you're on. And he's dropped. Oh, yeah, that one's gonna, dude, another one's eating it, Micah. <laughs> He's cut you off? Yeah. He hit above it, sorry. They're just like fast. Those are like little, like 20 inches. That's insane. There's like, literally just like a pack of kudas just sitting around the boat right now. They're just kind of like, hey, what are you doing? And most of them are little, but there's a few that are like kind of big. Tank coming in, coming in real fast, real fast, real fast. <laughs> Look at this. This is insane how clear the water is. There's two of them up here, Micah. Yeah. Micah, look at the front of the boat. <laughs> oh. On. There you go, Micah. Little one or big one? In between. They literally start sticking them. All right. Micah's Cuda. Micah, do you wish to hold them? <laughs> Micah's like, no, I want a bigger one. I'm gonna keep going. All right, first Cuda. He's probably like 28 inches. We'll just send Slimy on his way. He's off. That's so, oh, 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 keep going, keep going, oh. keep going, keep going, figure eight, figure eight, just, just literally keep going around the circle, like keep doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it, oh! Oh. <laughs> that was sick, yeah, there's like gotta be like 15 kudas sitting around, but a lot of them are like little like that, but, that was kind of scary, dude, the figure, we like, could like vertically come upwards, Okay, back home at the house. I was so stoked, honestly, to be able to put Jonah and Mike on some fish. The reason it's so special is because I've known those boys since they were three and five years old. And it's just really cool to come back together and fish. Now, I'm best friends with their older brother, Jacob. And we've spent so much time together, me and all those boys and their family. And, like, I love Jenkins family so much so it was really cool for Jonah and Mike to be able to come down and fish with me and I was able to help them catch some fish and that was just really cool. Over the past few years they've really gotten to fishing but they don't have a boat and so it's not always an easy way to learn how to fish when you haven't grown up fishing a body of water your whole life and so it's cool to have them come stay the night and able to get out and crush some fish and something that we didn't even talk about that I wish we would have is that the rod that Jonah caught his snook on, he actually made himself. That was the biggest fish he's caught in so far, and so that's just really, really special. A special 
all the way around. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you leave a like. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you guys have any videos you want to see, leave some comments down below. That's always very helpful. And I also have some uh, good video ideas and series brewing up in my brain that I can't wait to share with you guys. But for now, that's it. I appreciate it. Until the next video, see you.